doing? Cooking with was the it, gentas. Was it cooking with the gentas or in the kitchen with the gentas? Cooking with the gentas. I'm pretty sure. Cooking with the gentas. <laughs> this is the first time we're in the kitchen since the last video. <laughs> Where we almost burned down the house, the, house. the apartment. Um, now we moved. Now we moved, and we're not big cooks, so but we thought we we thought it'd be funny and yeah. a cool experience to have you guys go through with us. Then we are making causa de atún. Causa de atún is a Peruvian dish we grew up eating in. Our mom made it all the time. We're gonna make one that we kind of grew up eating that. We're familiar with. We don't know how to make it. This is our first mom. time making it. Yeah. Honestly, it's my first time I ever even boiled a potato. So that, that was, was a big step. It was harder than I thought. So this is a batu and you can make it of chicken, you can make it of crab, whatever, but we're just gonna make it of canned tuna because that's what my mom makes and, and it's good. Have. So let's get to it. So we have all the ingredients we need. Vale was very diligent and went to Trader Joe's this morning. Thank you, Trader Joe's. And Shout out Trader Joe's. Now we have the step by steps, and we're gonna follow this because last time we did our own thing, and this is where things get messed up. Pause. The only thing that we don't have that apparently my mom says is the one thing you need, and it's not gonna come out good if you don't have it. We don't have it, so <laughs> is ají amarillo, which is like. What well, makes it spicy? It's spice, yeah. First one. We're just not gonna make it with a hit amarillo, but if you have it at home, you need to add this. You should add it. So, step one boil the potatoes. I already did that. So, I boil them, you peel them, and then you mash them up like this. We're like a cooking show. You know how they have everything ready, right? I know. And I used to get mad because I'm like, yeah, yeah but show me how to do it. Yeah. Well, so, to the mashed potatoes, you're gonna add salt and pepper. Una pincha de garlic, yeah. una pizca de garlic, a little bit of garlic, and one lemon. Alright, so we added the minced garlic. Yeah, but like, how's the right, right way to cut them? So, a tip that I was taught was that when you cut onion, you know how it makes your eyes cry a lot? If you wash it, if you wash it off, like while cutting it, it doesn't like the stench stops. I just don't know how. Like I don't want to cut my um, finger off. Peligrosa la cosa. My mom would say que se vaya le da sabor a la comida. Oh, but you know what's the movie I saw last week? Holes with Shia LaBeouf. Really? With um, zero? With zero. And in the movie, when they're in the desert, they have to eat like onions. Remember? Pro tip: Do not touch your eyes when cutting onion. Como le dio taraca. Okay, so then we're gonna open the two cans of tuna. If you guys have a bigger bowl, that'd be nice. That's all we have, so. Do I put this in here? Uh, yeah, you can. Okay, I dropped a little onion. That's new. That's new. So we put the tuna, put the onion, mix it all together. Vida mm -hmm. loves mayo. It says a lot about a person. Also, pro tip: clean while you cook. So now, after the tuna, we're gonna boil eggs, which I already did. And fun fact, I'm an incredible egg boiler. Tati? <laughs> she is. It's her hidden talent. People right. say you have no talent. Do you think you can cut up eggs pretty? Um, okay, what is that try, supposed to mean? Okay, try cutting the avocado pretty. Just like in nice pieces? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah, then yeah. like peel it out with, you know what I mean? Gotcha. I thought you meant like cut it through the skin. No, like, idiota. Go, Luigi. Can I you cut an avocado? Go, Luigi. I cut an avocado, I boiled potatoes, I boiled eggs. I'm a natural. Mix it all together. I'm sorry, but making a gauss alone, this is a lot of work. I feel like it's a really good though, like meal to like bring to something. No, no, I, I like it and I think it's super fresh and yeah. whatever, but it must have. Uh, this is crazy that mom would do this. So oh, I just cut up the eggs like in slices like this and then you lay them flat on the gauss layer. 
Such two eggs. Fucking egg on oh, the so head. Oh, my God. Are you, are you scared the fuck out of me? I really thought you were just cracking it on me. I was like, it's so not funny. <laughs> Everyone did that? Yeah, we were gonna like go somewhere after. Doing lives. Uh, that's like, yes. so awesome. like you wanted to do a fucking cooking video. Yes, we're doing a cooking video. Like, we should have just picked someone to do it. You this. literally have squeezed a lemon. That's why you're so sweating. Cool. <gasps> what? You're just so two things on Poshmark. Go, Tati. Go, Tati. Go, 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 Tati. Okay, so we put on. I'm tati. breaking a sweat, Chichi. This was not what I signed up for. This is the first layer. That we made of mashed potatoes that Dati did. Killed it. So Killed you want to make it thin because if not, it just tastes like pure potato. Estamos a dieta. You know? Alright, then after that, pones el relleno. Which is what? Which is first. a tuna. Oh my god, this is kind of looking legit. Okay, we have way too little tuna. What? Really? Yeah. Okay, so this is a cabeza now. It's an appetizer. <laughs> two. We didn't have enough. Tuna. We didn't have enough tuna because someone told us two cans of tuna and they were wrong. Or maybe we just made too many potatoes. Regardless, we're not going to let this deter us, right? We, we still have this. Alright, so we added the slices of eggs and the slices of avocado to the first layer. We put, so let me recap for you. Potato, tuna, egg, avocado. And now you put the second layer of, of potato on top. All right, so we added a layer of potato to the top so that it looks like this. So it's like... We're gonna put some eggs on the last... as the last step on the top. And if you want to add olives, you can. But Tati doesn't like olives, so we're gonna skip that. Okay! All right, so is this it? This is the final product? Yeah. I don't know. I'm just asking. All right, here we go. This is a casa. It's not as, as pretty as we would have hoped. It's not as big and it's not as pretty as we would have hoped, but... But it's our first time. It's our first time. It's our first time making... So what did we learn today? We learned that you need more tuna. We learned that you need probably ají amarillo, even though we haven't tried it yet. Other than that though, I think we did a pretty good job. Yeah, we did. Thank you, B, for going to Trader Joe's exactly. and buying all the stuff. And thank you, Mom, for helping us. For instilling so many beautiful morals and lessons and to memories. us. Alright, let's try it. Let's try this bad boy. You want to do the owners? Potato. It's good, but it's just because we know how Mom Tate makes it. Honestly, it's not bad. It's not bad. A lemon, that last lemon was a good touch. Yeah. We obviously but, need some sort of spice in it to make it like more like exciting. Right. So I think what we took away from this is we need a spice from Nahi and then more tuna. But besides that, we got the idea. Yeah. For the first time ever doing it, we did a pretty good job. I'm pretty impressed with this. Go, Dati! Go, Dati! Go, Dati! Anyways, um, we learned a lot today, and for all the people who are good cooks out there, I commend you. Because Seriously, guys, if you have any recipes that you want to teach us or think that we should cook, let us know. Let us know below. Also, if you're interested, go follow us on Instagram. Alright, guys. Alright, guys, we are Thanks adults. Thanks for watching. Go try this at home. Like and subscribe.